<sighs> and we are live with day 25. We're episode 25, technically. <laughs> Since I've been doing these twice a day in some days. But anyway, of Trails in the Sky. Time for round two, guys. Zin, it's time for round two. When you're ready, please proceed to the entrance gate. Oh. And here I thought it was going to make me do the thing. Anyway. Let's make sure... Uh, let's make sure our, our, our barrage, black fang, howling bullet, oral blast. Yes. Oh, it's only battle voices. That that's weird. <sighs> I like that cures all I have normal status. Does it cure death though? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, We need to uh, unlock Joshua's uh, final um, thing. It was EP cut and EP. So close to having this one. I already have. Interesting. I already have. Um... Oh, this one's giving me two. Interesting. So, what's impact then? Three and two. Oh. Which one? Wait, one of them has minus 10. No. Is it Joshua who has minus 10? <gasps> yes, it is Joshua. Okay, so let's give him... Um, let's give him defense too. This isn't enough. It has to be defense too.
<sighs> now I've got five. Yeah. Hundred percent kills enemy, but quartz breaks. This is like the final boss. I'm just gonna stick it on both of them. <laughs> just be like, yeah. Anyway, items, EP charges. Okay, okay. Sorry, I I'm out of sorts because of my dream last night. I'm just like, <laughs> did I ever report the thing? I did. Okay. I had like the weirdest dream last night. Masters in, welcome to the Grand Arena. Please note that tournament participants ask to remain within the area as well as until the end of the day's matches. Have you made all necessary preparations for a day of hot, hot action? <sighs> then bring it on. Excellent, excellent. Your waiting room is the blue team room just inside the hall on the right. Fight well. Oh, there you are. Hi, Dorothy. Short time, no see. Seeing as how we only just saw each other in Zeiss. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Never dreamed we'd meet again in this life. I mean, since you got in so much trouble after you boarded that factory ship. So much trouble. Well, well, this bears investigation. Whoa, whoa, wait, Dorothy. Can we maybe save that conversation for later? Huh? Anyway, I was going to say, your friends here look kind of familiar. <laughs> I seem to recall encountering you once in the city of Bose. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance once more, my uniquely charming lady. We passed by each other near the hot spring. Oh, I remember now. It's the drink and run guy and the bear in eastern clothing. So, Stell, are you and Joshua fighting alongside these two in the competition? Yep, that's right. We're on Zid's team, the bear in eastern clothing, as you put it. So, what about you? Are you covering the event for the newspaper? Well, until yesterday, I was working on another story. Niall told me this morning that I should check out the martial arts competition to see you guys. You're as strong as he said you were. This is gonna make for some... Great pictures. Uh, I hope so. Oh, yeah. Isn't Niall with you? Nah, I guess he had something important to check up on. I think he was up all last night wrestling with a bunch of papers or something. He told me today that he was going to talk to an old acquaintance. I see. Oh, and he wanted me to pass the message on to you. He wants you to come by the editorial department this evening. Whatever it is, he made it sound serious. Mm, okay. We'll go after today's matches. Ah, serious conversation. My old nemesis. Well, don't let it get you down. Per meow. Oh, would you stop it? It doesn't even have anything to do with you. How very cruel, Estelle. <sighs> and after our passions burned so strongly together yesterday. And my mere refuse to be discarded in circumstance affords me no immediate use. Would you please stop talking like that? Wow, Estelle, I had no idea. Isn't he a little old for you, though? He's talking about the tournament, but you're better off just ignoring everything he says either way. I'm gonna ha go ahead and find a good set. See. So I can get the best shots. I'll be rooting for you guys. Good luck. Yeah, Olivier's uh, manner of speech. Um, she's quite the uh, unique sort of girl, isn't she? So I, between her and Olivier, I just get so drained. That just means we're relieving your stress before the match. She is a pretty skilled photographer, at least. And most of the photographs that have been published in the Barrel News lately were taken by her. <laughs> hmm, impressive. In that case, we'll have to make sure that our fight is one worth taking pictures of. Yeah, no kidding. I don't know who we're facing, but we need to get psyched. Oh boy.
That's so weird. Okay, let's do this. I'm fucking terrified, by the way. <laughs> like, I'm just fucking terrified. <laughs> Ugh, they're late. The match is due to start soon, so where's the other team? It is kind of strange. Maybe something's holding them up, or... Come on, get a move on. We're moving, we're moving. Quit rushing us, all right? Ugh, why did things have to turn out like this? Come on, bro, come on, bro. Don't be getting all sad on us now. We need to keep our spirits up in case we end up fighting them today. But you, so is your team. <laughs> I should have known they wouldn't show up in a timely fashion. <laughs> Guess we won't be fighting you a lot today after all. Looks like you got lucky this time. I've been hoping we'd get matched up with you so we could give that she-man their lesson. Can we stop calling us tell that? <laughs> oh, you did not. Hey, no idle chatter. Or did you forget that it's only by his grace's generosity that you're even in this competition? Come now, soldier. You don't need to worry about this. Have we not been well behaved so far? And I just hope you decide to keep that up until you go back to jail. Don't even talk to them. You don't make any trouble and we won't make trouble for you. I don't think there will be a problem. They want to clobber us tomorrow after all. I think you know this, but there's a full company of soldiers here on security detail. Don't even start imagining that you have any chance of escaping. We know already, we're not idiots. <laughs> you guys are, real, are a real eyesore, so why don't you just go already? You little... Don't let this kid provoke you. Just don't try any funny business. Hey, what's going on? How'd you guys wind up in the martial arts competition? Is it really because Duke Dunan allowed it? Yeah, it seems that way. It supposedly calls for us specifically to participate. The better we do, the better our sentence gets. You've got to be kidding me. Mm, that's a little strange for a constitutional monarchy. Ah, uh, it seems the Duke is a mischievous sort. Well, we won't. you won't see us complaining. I'd rather work off my sentence than spend it in prison. But then, that's not the only reason. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Ah, shut it. It ain't any of your business anyhow. It matters to us. So if you're not here to fight us, then are you here to take on the special ops orders? What? How? Damn straight we are. They were supposed to be our allies, and they screwed us over. They, they used us to help expand the intelligence division's influence, then tossed us aside. We're idiots, plain and simple. We got double-crossed. And that really sucks. Yeah, I suppose so. Come to think of it, I even feel kind of bad for you guys. Listen, we don't want your damn pity. You owe us, and don't you forget it. Huh? What do you mean by that? Don't you remember the last time we met? It'd be a bad thing if you know who found out that you snuck into Lyston Fortress, right? Oh. We don't like those drugs too much either, so we didn't say anything about you. Haha, <laughs> you ought to thank us, girl. Indeed, thank you for keeping it to yourselves. This certainly sounds interesting. I'd love to hear more. <laughs> Olivier, please. Please. We need, we need Mueller. We need Mueller. <laughs> you hush. It was nothing. Whoops. I hate to throw up, but I think we're starting shortly. We must apologize to everyone for the long wait. We now open the second day of the martial arts competition. Let's start out by announcing the fight card for the fifth match. Southside blue team from the Calvin Republic, captained by martial arts master Zinn. Northside, a red team from the Bracer Guild Gruntel branch. Kurt's team. Here we go. We're gonna actually be fighting against Karna's crew. This won't be easy. We need to make sure that we don't get in its way. No need to be so cautious. Your assistance will be just as good as any full-fledged bracers. All we need to do is focus on winning. Right. We'll do our best. <laughs> Let us be off. To glory! <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Hey guys, so you made it. Hiya, rookies. <laughs> Hi, it's you. We gave as good as we got. Zin the immovable, I always wanted to go up against you at least once. What do you say we see if my sword can match up to your skill? Uh, fine by me, but just to warn you, I'm not big on pulling my punches. Uh, I was hoping to fight in the final round. I guess we'll ha see who fate favors today. On one hand, you have an advanced group of veteran bracers. And on the other hand, a talented group of novice bracers and one genius performing musician. I imagine even Adios herself might have difficulty at guessing the outcome. We now begin the fifth match of the No Holds Barred tournament. Both teams go to your starting places. 
Take your positions. Begin. I'm terrified. I'm actually fucking terrified. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's no way to get all of them. Hmm. That's no good. Okay. Fifteen ninety eight, nine fifty four, seventeen thirty five, seven oh seven eighty. Okay, so thirty two, thirty four, twenty eight, twenty six. <gasps> Recovery and support. Twenty eight, twenty six. Oh no, this is the this is the life of the team. You you you, you need to go. You need to go. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> And again, we can't hit uh, all four. We'll get rid of the uh, of the healer. And now it's one v one, or one v four. Honestly, what I should have done is put in Death Lord 2. <laughs> and then just hope that with, with um, Thing, it actually counts as all four. <laughs> oh, he missed. Miss. <laughs> That's funny. How is everybody missing right now? No, you're done. KO, winner is Zid's team. Oh. Thank goodness for blessed, uh, blessed Black Fling. Gah, nicely done. I never thought that Zin the Immovable was really that capable. You guys are no slouches yourselves. <laughs> I don't think I'd have won. If not for the others backing me up. Huff, huff, did, did we win? Yeah, not sure how though. Ha, oh, don't be so modest. You may have had Zin with you, but you each pulled your own weight. Whew, I knew fighting Shara's students was going to be tough, but I had no idea the black-haired kid would be such a tough cookie. <laughs> and I was thinking that this girl was going to put me to sleep. Perhaps later we can discuss each other's strength over a glass of wine. Oh, give it a rest. Well, well, not bad at all. No kidding, that was a pretty exciting match. <laughs> I suppose it wasn't too bad. Uh, why, thank you. So what's the deal? Why are you guys congratulating us? Got a fever or something? 
We're not congratulating you, you little punk. It's just that it would be annoying to lose so easily to the group that drove drove us up the up a wall. You've got a snappy comeback for everything, don't you? Come on, Estelle. Thank you very much. I know a lot's happened between us, and still you cheered us on. We appreciate it. What? I tried to tell you that we're not cheering you on. Hmm. Next up is the sixth match. Southside Blue Team. The Sky Bandits, aka the Kapua family. Captained by Don Kapua. Northside Red Team from the Royal Army Intelligence Division. Captained by 2nd Lieutenant Lawrence, who's very suspicious. Alright, it's finally time. I'm trying to teach those sneaky assholes a lesson. Maybe this is how it was destined to play out. Our fingers are crossed for you. Good luck. Watch out for the commanding officer. Keep him pinned down and you'll have a fighting chance. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, shut up. It's none of your business anyway. <laughs> is Josette crushing on, um, Joshua? That's... Yo. Little Mr. Masked Avenger. I've been waiting for a chance to pay back what I owe you. <laughs> yeah, we really ought to thank the Duke for this chance. Haha. <laughs> What's so damn funny? You're orphans of the Kapua family. One of Erebonia's ruined noble families. You lost your territory to corrupt merchant and only survived by taking to air piracy. I was just thinking about what a touching story that is. What? What the hell? How do you know about that? Did you forget that we're part of the intelligence division? You'd be better off abandoning your little quest for revenge and just serving your time quietly. It does seem that you're trying to go straight at least. You what? You sure do love to run your mouth, don't you? Time for you to taste a few orbital powered bullets. We now begin the sixth match of the No Holds Barred Tournament. Both teams go to your starting places. I would go like full announcer voice, but it's it's 4 a.m. And I don't want to like wake up the entire fucking street. <laughs> I've had a go XLR, I just have it on the thing, just voice changer. Take your positions. Begin! Why are they taking out the weak link? Oh, I, I thought he just attacked Lawrence, and I was like, what? Oh. Damn. You think I got it. Winners, Lawrence's team. Oh man, they lost. They were doing pretty well at first. It all fell apart when that fellow in red started in on them though. Mm, definitely not an opponent to be trifled with. I don't think he was even trying as hard as he could. <clears throat> I can't get a decent read on his real strength. Please, tell me you're joking. No, I think it's the truth. That last technique just didn't feel like it was even all that focused. We still got plenty we haven't seen yet. That's just crazy.
Uh, I'm sorry, you guys. Don't try to cheer us up, please. We got slaughtered out there. Damn it, if my support tactics weren't so worthless. It wasn't your fault. I'm the one who wasted all that energy on attacks that didn't do anything. Well, hey, sometimes it comes down to more more than just who's stronger. We're gonna get him back for you when we fight him tomorrow. What? <laughs> you make it sound so simple. I'm not fond of promising what I'm not sure I can deliver. But it has to be won in the mind before it can be won in the flesh. What a fine saying. Tis as if you and Estelle speak with the same mind. But you, sir, with a more golden tongue. Hmm. It looks like you're finally done. Alright, knowing it about, back to the docks with you. You've got to be kidding. We just got done fighting. Can't you give us a few minutes to rest? You know, for ardent criminals, you sure act like swell brats. Come on. Now get moving. Bah. I'm so worn out. Hey, bracer jerks. What? We are going to be here tomorrow. But you damn well better win. If you let those assholes beat you, then you're going to have hell to pay. Of course we're going to win. Who do you think you're talking to here? <laughs> we'll win, I swear it. Are you done? Enough stalling. They weren't stalling. 40,000 Mira in cash. Oh boy, that's a lot of money. Gruntel East Block. Ah, oh, yes. Whew, I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Tomorrow's the final match. We're really going to have to keep our spirits up because that's going to be one tough match. So propose that we go to the bar and let it all hang out, so to speak. <laughs> I like the way you think, good sir. I should like to join you. So this is adult logic. We've got some stuff we have to do, so not tonight for us, I think. No problem. See you later, then. We'll meet up with you tomorrow morning out front. Good night, my sweethearts. Ugh. I love Olivia, don't get me wrong, but um, he's definitely matured by Cold Steel. <laughs> now, let's see. I'll, be, I'll bet Niall's waiting for us, so we, oh, why don't we go to the Barrel News Service and see what he has to say. Yeah, hopefully he's managed to learn something useful about those Intelligence Division members. They scare me. Um. I'm not afraid to admit that. One forty eight. Uh, is it the north block or the west block? Hold up, I don't even know anymore. There's a cafe next to it, that I know. West block. There's no cafe here. Okay, now before we go in, I'm gonna be our bait.
<sighs> I'm back. Hey, Niall. Pardon us. Hey, you're here. Amazing, Dorothy actually got the message to you guys and didn't screw it up. Will milk rolls never cease? <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> so here you won your match today. Dorothy was in an absurdly cheerful mood when she got back from it. Ha, <laughs> cool. Niall, about what we discussed earlier. Straight to business, I see. Take a look. Got some background on those big shots. Niall held out a black file folder. Is this from the Royal Army? Yeah, nothing super secret, but I was able to get out some documents. Let's just say they're on loan from some of my army contacts. But keep that under your hat, okay? Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and read it here. So Joshua opened the black folder. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. We have to read all of this. This is scary. <sighs> Colonel Alan Richard, born 1168 in the Rouen region of Le Barrel. Graduate head of his class from the military academy, later assigned to the mobile task force led by Cassius Bright. 1102, recognized for distinguished service under Cassius Bright in the Hundred Days War. Appointed to the to staff of the military operations office after Colonel Bright's retirement. Suggested formation of intelligence division. Queen Alicia approves the request <laughs> and appoints him as the first commander of the new branch. Wow, pretty impressive. Well, he is the man in charge. He always seemed to be pretty sharp. It looks like Major Sid was right about him serving under Dad 10 years ago. So Dad really was a colonel. <laughs> I wonder why he retired. I mean, he had respect and fame and all that. The Captain Amalthea. Captain Canon... Canone? Canon? Amalthea. Born 1175 from the Barrow's capital city of Kronso. Her excellent grades to the military academy earned her a place on the staff of the military operations office shortly after graduation. 1201. Reassigned to the newly formed intelligence division on Colonel Richard's recommendation. Later pointed as Colonel, Colonel Richard's aide de camp, assisting directly with military operational command. Excellent grades again. Another intellectual big shot, looks like. That appointment means that she's been working for Colonel Richard for a long time. No wonder she's so loyal to him. <laughs> oh no, I'm terrified of clicking on this one. Second Lieutenant Lawrence Belgar. Okay, his last name's Belgar. Age and nationality unknown. Oh. A member of Jester who was invited by Colonel Richard to join the intelligence division. Previous activities unknown. He's been in disguise all along. He's not even from Libero. What's up with his old job as a mercenary being one big blank spot? I don't know. Jaeger Corps are known as the best mercenaries in the business for good reason. No kidding. So maybe the Colonel was just looking for a really skilled fighter? It's a possibility. And I think I've heard of this Jester somewhere before. He's a Jaeger? So like Sarah B or the rest. Thanks for this now. At least we know a little more about who we're dealing with. As long as it's useful. I've learned a few juicy tidbits while I was digging around too. Juicy tidbits. For example, First Lieutenant Julia Schwartz of the Royal Guardsmen, currently wanted for questioning. Was in the Academy the same year as Captain Amalthea. Really now? They never gave off the impression that they got along all that well. Maybe because they were ac 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 Academy rivals. Jeez, I can't read. Canone's got the brains and Julia's got the combat skills. Pretty big difference there. Ah, I see, I'd imagine so. Looks like Julia's always been the super serious knightly type, huh? Next up, and this has nothing to do with the military, mind you. You kids know about Princess Claudia, right? Princess Claudia, sounds familiar. If memory serves, she was orphaned when the crown prince and his wife died. She's the granddaughter of Her Majesty, Queen Alicia. Right, she's not well known, but she is the direct descendant of the Queen. From what I can dig up, she lives in the Royal Keep and pretty much stays there most of the time. It seems someone's been looking for prospective marriage candidates for her. Huh. That's not super unusual for rich families, but still. Just gross. That's not the point. The issue here is, who is this someone? Ah, spot on, kid. It could be. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um...
Colonel Richard. We know Queen Alicia is ill. Ill. Uh, Duke Dunan is a puppet. Colonel Richard's the only option. But I have confirmed it though. Hey, not back yet. It is Colonel Richard who's been scouring foreign countries for a suitable candidate, it looks like. I knew it. But isn't that kind of weird? Why would he even be involved in setting up an arranged marriage? Pretty interesting, ain't it? And now there's something I want from you too. Huh? You want us to win the tournament and get you some information at the dinner party, right? Is that about the long and short of it? Oh, okay. You're not shy about asking for stuff, are you? Hey, I got you information. This is called give and take, sweetheart. <laughs> True, and it's been helpful. <laughs> oh, alright. We'll let you know if we find out anything. That's what I like to hear. Though if all goes well today, I might not even need to rely on you to. Excuse me for a sec. I'm terrified. Because Chloe's missing. Excuse me for a sec. Hello, LaBarrel News. Oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you to call in. What? Starting now? Okay, got it. I'll meet you there. What's going on? Sorry to cut and run on you, but I've got to go meet someone. Sounds like you're in for a late night. The sun's going down as it is. Hey, I'm a night at all. Anyways, I'm only up during the daytime while the crazy chick is being trained. But hey, no biggie. You kids can just kick back and relax while I'm out. Gotcha. Good luck with your work. You too, don't screw up tomorrow's match. I'm terrified for Chloe. Well then, what should we do now? I may have to kill uh, the Colonel. Shit. What should we do now? Uh, I guess we should stop by the guild and go back to the hotel. We ought to report in the info that Nile got for us. Fine by me. Am I the only one who's concerned for uh, for Chloe? She's been gone all chapter. And I guess Princess Claudia too. And too many military types. I don't like this. This game does not give you enough Sepith for it to be 800. I do need to get, um, shield 2 or whatever. And ideally, <sighs> ideally defense three or something. Right? Because defense three would give me eight and then evade two, I guess. It would give me um, eight as well. I need a lot of Earth Sepith. Estelle, Joshua, I offer my congratulations on advancing to the championship bout. It's a shame the air of Kurt's loss, but I hear it was a very good match. Yeah, it was pretty intense. I wouldn't go patting us on the back just yet, though. We weren't better than Kurt, not by Selj. True, we just got lucky. We had Zen along with Olivier's guns and magic to cover for our mistakes. They're the only reason we've made it as far as we have. You two are very humble. A very a, a rare quality these days. Blah. By the way, have you learned any more information? Well so Second Lieutenant Lawrence is a part of the Jaeger Corps. More specifically the Jaeger Corps known as Jester. First I've heard that of that name definitely. I'd best look it up. Do the Guild and Jaeger Corps ever work together? 
Not at all. If anything, we consider one another to be business rivals. We make it our business not to interfere in matters of state, you see. Whereas the Aegers largely revel in such matters. They're often employed in border disputes and have some quite opposing viewpoints with us regarding the safety of the common man. They don't sound very nice, so I take it there's no chance of getting inf any information on this. I wouldn't say no chance. With a bit of cloak and dagger, I might be able to find the information you seek. It would take several days to gather the necessary intel, however, so you wouldn't have it before the championship. Is that all right? Championship, shman, 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 championship. Jeez, Estelle. This has nothing to do with the competition. So yeah, if you'd please. Thank you, Alan. Also, regarding the Colonel's hunt for Princess Claudia's future husband, we've uncovered a few morsels of information which may have some connection. Uh, okay. Remember, the Imperial Royal family will be arriving in Grandsville during the Queen's birthday celebration. We don't know their name, but we do know that. This is the first time someone from the family has come to Libero since the war 10 years ago. So this is fairly significant news. I see, you're right, that it does seem connected with, the talk, with talk of Princess Claudia's marriage. I don't actually know a thing about Imperial Royal Family. I mean, the only Imperial I've ever met, e even met, is Olivier. The princess has just celebrated her 16th birthday. Seems much too early for her to be married. I suspect there may be politics at work here. Whoa, 16? Geez, we're only 16 ourselves. It is the appropriate age for a young lady to make her debut in high society. <laughs> oh boy. And I'm now flashing back to, um, Alfin and Elise. <laughs> that was a fun, that was a fun party. Alfin just throwing a wrench in all the rumors. Jeez, I've got a million emails from yesterday. Oh, I just didn't check. Okay, so I didn't check my email. <laughs> um, but unless we're reverted to a much repressed type, it is much, much too soon for marriage. Indeed, as I said, I suspect there's a political motive to this push for wedlock. Finding that motive will no doubt prove to be a most valuable endeavor. Gotcha. If we could earn that invite to the castle, we'd be able to investigate more e much more easily. Then we need to secure a win in tomorrow's championship. Hmm, as dangerous as this may be, I've got something for you. Here. <clears throat> Gronsol Sewer Key B. What the heck is this to? The sewers, we always keep a few on hand at the Capital Branch. Never know when they might come in handy. This one should be op uh, should open access. Should open one of the access grates near the Grand Arena. There are some pretty strong monsters living down there, so I figured it might make for a suitable training ground. Bring it. We could totally use the warm-up. Thank you, Elnon. I'm just doing my job. Make sure you don't head down there without some backup, though. If it's just the two of you, you're toast. No problem there. We'll head on down with Zinn and <sighs> Olivier after we meet up with them tomorrow. She really doesn't like Olivier. Wow, it's late. We should probably get back to the hotel. Hey, you two. Hmm? Oh, what's going on? We're on patrol. Nighttime patrols have been increased as part of the counterterrorism measures. So it's best to avoid going out after 9 o'clock, if at all possible. You two should go on home. Don't you think that's a little obnoxious? What if you need to go out after 9 o'clock? It's the higher-ups who make decisions, miss. Sorry to cause any trouble, but everyone has to abide by the rules. By the way, where is it that you two live? We're staying at the hotel on the north block. We'll be there for the duration of the martial arts competition. Hmm. Hold on a second. I could swear I've seen you two somewhere before. Hey, these kids are in the tournament. You know, now that you mention it. Oh, were you guys in the audience? Uh, well, we were on security detail. That match today was pretty incredible. Tomorrow's the championship, no? We'll escort you to, uh, escort you to the hotel so you can rest up for your big fight. Um, very well, we accept. <laughs> Uh-oh. Thanks for escorting us. We appreciate it. You've got to be kidding. We're big fan fans of yours. We're all in the same army, but I don't know. Those special ops types just rub me the wrong way for some reason. No kidding, I just don't get what goes through their heads. Don't you think talking like this is this is a little disrespectful of Colonel Richard, though? Well, that's why we're putting so much faith in your participation. Good luck with tomorrow's match. Uh, thank you. We'll do everything we can. <laughs> Ooh, this is all kind of complicated, huh?
Oh fuck. I think I'm gonna I I think I need I it, it, there's there's no there's way too much time before thing. Um oh, this is all kind of complicated, huh? I think those guys know a thing about the colonel's plot. They seem to think the touch division are just regular soldiers. Whatever info comes down the chain of command, they accept as true as the truth. Hmm. Well, I need to make enemies of them since they're rooting for us and all. Regardless of anything else, it'd be wisest not to stir up trouble with the rank and file soldiers. What do you say we stay in our room tonight and just rest up? Okay. Huh? Did you just hear something? Be an alert when we go inside. Be ready for a fight if things don't look right. Huh? I think we've got a trespasser. There might be explosive set, so be careful. Wait, you're kidding, right? I need you to do exactly as I tell you, no questions. If you'd rather stay out here, that's fine with me. No way! I'm fine, let's go inside. Alright. Oh. Looks like he got away. But that's strange. I don't get the sense that anyone's been in here. Nor does it feel like there are any traps set. You can seriously tell that kind of thing? It's because it was... A bird? I guess it's all that was left behind. What? A letter? Joshua broke the seal on the letter. Tonight at the stroke of 10, come to the cathedral. Please tell no one of this. And that's it. And what cathedral? That huge church over in the west block? It's already almost 10 o'clock now. Mm, well, it sure sounds suspicious, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. What do you think? Should we go for it? Absolutely not. Wh what was that for? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Look, didn't those soldiers just say that they were going to reinforce tonight's patrols? You can bet they'll be keeping a close watch on the west block too. Oh, right. Still, I hate to just pretend we never got it. I'll go by myself then. Huh? It's easier for one person to stay hidden than two. I shouldn't have any real trouble getting to the cathedral unnoticed. Listen, if all I'm doing is scoping out the situation, I can handle it on my own. I just need you to stay here. Hey. Huh? I'm no less abrasive than you are. I can handle myself and I won't slow you down. Your solar talk's not going to work on me this time. Still, that's not what I meant. I know it's not that you don't trust me. I can tell you word about me, or more that you word for me. What are you not telling me? How can you tell that I'm keeping something from you? I'm closer to you than just about anyone, Joshua. There's nothing you can keep from me. Not for very long, anyway. I'm impressed. Uh huh? Alright, if you want to come with me, I won't try to stop you. It's almost 10 now, though, so we have to hurry. Oh, okay. But I want you to promise me something. If anything goes wrong, you do exactly as I tell you. One wrong move could be fatal. Okay, I promise. Let's get a move on then. Oh no! Oh no, okay, I need to read this, hold on. Um... Okay, uh, stay, uh, to progress, stay on the north side of the east side, then squeeze to the lower area of the market. Oh, fuck me. Um, this is complicated. Um. <laughs> We're gonna need to, uh. We're gonna need to, uh, what's the word? <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of alt F4s. Oh. It looks like they're patrolling. If any of the soldiers spot us, we'll probably get led back to the hotel. We need to study their movements and take whatever chances we can can to get past them undetected. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, 
This is going to take a bit. <laughs> I'm not blowing my own ear drops out. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, each time I move to a new area, I need to make sure to save. Oh, yep. Okay, so I need to not go there. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, it's like to progress, stay on the north side of the east side, and then... It wants me to go north of the market. <sighs> Fuck, I keep fucking it up. This this is um Spider-Man on PS4 all over again. This is literally Spider-Man on PS4 over again. I actually ended a stream and just... Because of how bad um, the stealth part was going. Ah! <laughs> Damn it, I need like a... <sighs> this is probably going to take a while. I'm just going to blow out my own eardrums. I, you... <sighs> I'm going to keep the game audio muted for now. Um... <sighs> I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm not gonna keep getting. I hate this so much. Anyway, um. Okay. I've at least progressed a bit. Oh my god. This is annoying. <laughs> I don't have to blow out my eardrums. I can just mute, the th mute my computer. Okay. <sighs> All right.
It wants me to stay near... Okay, okay. <laughs> this is gonna take a bit. Uh, let's see. Oh boy, oh boy, 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 boy. <sighs> Wait, I'm twenty five? Or Stell's twenty five, anyway. Uh. <sighs> yeah, 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 I'm bo they're both 25. Ah! I almost had it. I hate this. <laughs> I hate I hate stealth so much. I hate stealth so much. <laughs> Especially stealth that requires a soft reset. Fuck me. Okay, we got it. I was so close. <laughs> All right, we made it. Stay focused, Estelle. I'll go in first. Stay close. Okay. Fuck me. I'm sorry, Estelle. I guess I misunderstood. Huh? Uh, you came after all. You. Hey, aren't you the nun from before? The one who was attacked on the scenic route? Thank you for what you did back there. I assume you got my message. That letter was yours, but why would you do something so secretive like... Just to say thanks. Ah, now I get it. It was her all along. Huh? Uh, you're very observant, Joshua. Pardon me. Then, allow me to get more comfortable. What? Hey, it's Julia. I love it. <laughs> Lieutenant Julio Schwartz, Commander of the Royal Guardsmen, at your service. It's been a long time, you two. I knew you'd come. 
<laughs> it's nice to see you again, Lieutenant. Last time was back in Rwanda, right? Yes, it was. It hasn't been that long, but it feels like ages. Hey, hold on a second. Why are you in that getup? <laughs> and why'd you call us here? I'll answer questions one at a time. First, the close. The Septian Church has long and deep ties with the royal family. Colonel Richard's little conspiracy has us on the run, and they've helped us stay hidden within the city. Oh, okay. The answer to your other question, why I called you here. If you win the final match tomorrow, you'll get invited to that dinner party at the castle, right? What I need you to do is to get in touch with Her Majesty once you get inside. Uh, I realize that it's a selfish request, but since we're basically fugitives, there's no way for us to make contact. You're the only hope we have. Well then, this is kind of unexpected. Actually, we're participating in a competition specifically in hopes of seeing the Queen anyway. What? Uh, the request from Professor Russell and gave them uh, gave them during the license purchase. Really now? Almighty Adios, thank you for your gift, most sacred. <laughs> yes, but also, Julia, please, never again. In that case, I have only one favor to ask of you. When you speak to Her Majesty, heed her counsel. Of course, that was the plan from the get-go. That non-involvement rule still applies, even in a situation like this. But we'll do everything we can. I'm grateful. Please take this with you. Receive Julia's letter. What's this? Give this to the head maid, Hilda, and she'll know that you've spoken to me. Her Majesty's probably under very heavy guard by the special officemen. We can trust Hilda. With her help, you may be able to speak with Her Majesty. Huh, she sounds like a heck of a lady. Got it, we'll talk to her. Thank you very much. Uh, pathetic, isn't it? Eh? I was deceived and thereby failed the one I was supposed to protect at all costs. And this happened not long after I swore that I would give my life to safeguard Her Majesty from harm. You can't imagine how helpless I feel having to depend entirely on another's help. You really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I hate to say this, but there's the chance that we'll lose tomorrow's match. Uh, I'm certain that you'll do just fine. That Calvardian martial artist is extremely skilled, and you are both the children of Colonel Cassius Bright. You mean you knew our dad too? It's not without reason that he was known as the finest swordsman in all the Royal Army, the Divine Blade at that. Before he retired from service, I had a chance to be trained by him when he was a martial arts instructor at the military academy. If not for him, I would not be nearly as skilled as I am. I can't believe that. That's never used anything except the bow staff. I guess he must have given up the sword when he decided to become a bracer. His goal wasn't to kill his enemies. He wanted to prove himself and help those weaker than him. Than he. That's why he chose the bow staff as his weapon. Or so I imagine. Really. I didn't know that my use of a staff had the, that kind of significance. I'm sure he hoped that you'd inherit that same kind of mindset. I think he'd be proud of you. Joshua. Colonel Cassius trained both of you. I have all the faith in the world that you'll win tomorrow's match. <laughs> Here you can say that always makes me think you're right. We'll put everything we have into it. Pardon us, this is the Gronsol City Guard. Due to terrorist threat, we will now be, be patrolling the main facilities. I apologize for the lateness of the hour, but do you mind if we have a look inside? Crap. Quite alright, thank you. Just a moment, please, and I'll open the door. There's another door at the back of the altar room. You can get outside from there. Okay. Please be careful. Oh, don't ever make me sne sneaky sneaky again. I hate sneaky sneaky. And it's like, oh, if you if you get caught, you you'll uh, you'll lose BP. And I'm like, fuck. Woo. Well, we managed to avoid the patrol so far. It doesn't look like there are any soldiers this way. Yeah, I'm not sensing anyone. I guess the night patrols are finally done. Let's rest for a moment here, then head back to the hotel. Okay. <sighs> So much is going on, it's starting to give me a headache. Ah, uh, I'll bet. Never would have imagined it to be Lieutenant Schwarz waiting for us at the cathedral. Wait, so she wasn't who you were expecting to find there? Could it be you were thinking it'd be someone you'd known before? Well, oh, sorry, forget I said anything. Gotta remember the rules. Estelle, I won't ask you anything about before we met until you're ready to tell me. I try to be careful, but sometimes it just slips my mind. Estelle, I, I think you've gotten a little stronger during our travels. Uh-huh. It's overwhelming to think about all the people around us, each and every one of them living his or her own life, all under the same sky. And every person you meet has a personality and a history, and a story to tell. Every one of them is just like us, living day by day. Sometimes I just have to remind myself that no one acts without cause. Nothing happens without a reason, or a motive, or an excuse. And it's only when I remember that, that I start to feel like I might be able to reclaim the parts of me I've lost. Joshua, I'm probably just fooling myself, tricking myself into accepting things I can't change. But even so, I'm grateful for having someone with me. The sky, dad, but most of all you. Joshua, so I promise, once this whole matter is settled and if dad comes back safely, I'll tell you everything there is to know about my past. 
Really? Really? With the stars as my witness. Okay then. We have ourselves a deal. Estelle. All my goons gone fluttering away. Because once you've told me what you've got to tell me, then I'll tell you what I've got to tell you. Uh, what? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Oh wait, is this about that thing you had on your mind? You've had on your mind? Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna have to psych myself up for it. <laughs> psych yourself up. Is it really something so dramatic? I mean, if it's that important, I really don't mind hearing about it now. Absolutely not. It's a delicate matter, and timing is crucial. Though I guess the situation does feel kind of right, but still no dice, not yet. I don't get you sometimes, Estelle. I swear, you seem like you're ready to take on anything now, all because we've got a big talk plan. It makes no sense. Of course I'm ready. Ain't no way I'm letting those guys keep me from this talk. I'm gonna show those special ops types how a touch of girl power can ruin their whole day. <laughs> ruin their... <laughs> oh, you really are your father's daughter. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You better not be comparing me to a middle-aged man. Yeah, I guess you're right. Zaba, I think we're going to do just fine tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Meet. I hope so too. Yesterday was genuinely awful. I returned to the embassy over full of spirit when those tiresome guards saw fit to stop and cast flaming, stinking disparagements at me. They've tightened security at night, supposedly for anti terrorist purposes. Were you two okay? Yes, we went to bed rather early, so we didn't have any problems. And then I'll lend us something that might really give us an edge. Now that should come in handy. He's a young one, but he's got a real spark to him. He always seems to know what you need and when you need it. So what do you say we check out the sewers this morning? The gate is just north of the arena. Well, if it's for the banquet, we could muster up one more huzzah. So... Just north of the arena. I like that. Today's the big day. Did you get a chance to go into the sewers yesterday? You can, so what a question. Sounds strange, I know, but it really is a fine place for you to brush up on your technique. Bro, well, known as a bonefish, has been spotted roving the east block of the sewers. Bracers from this branch are requested to deal with this threat immediately. So. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. Bro, I just lost all my money.
I went from 70k to 25k. That's atrocious. But I believe we need to go to the east block. <laughs> Above the arena. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this morning, and by time, I mean that is all the mental energy I have for this morning. Because, dear lord, was that painful? Uh, anyway, uh, I will be back. I'll be back tomorrow. I, I, I was gonna do an afternoon stream, but one, I'm out of sorts, and two... Actually, no, hold up. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna grind a bit. I'll try not to kill the big boss. But I'm gonna grind a bit. By grind I mean I'm gonna collect some stuff. You know what? Fuck it. We'll do a grinding episode later today. Um Anyway, I'll see you guys then. Eleven. In six hours. Bye bye.